G.I. Joe. Hi, welcome to this G.I. Joe toy review. And this is the last ninja I will be looking at for Ninja Month. And it is the last video I will be doing for 2023 for G.I. Joe anyway. I got one more Transformer to do after that, and that's Rat Bat to end out uh, Cassette Minions Month. But we'll do that on Stats Setup for the weekend for New Year's Eve. But uh, I hope everybody had a great Christmas yesterday. Mine was pretty cool. You know, Christmas is always awesome. You know, and uh, this this is uh, Storm Shadow. But before we get to looking at Storm Shadow, let's do our shout-outs of the week, which is uh, Back to the Media at 48 South Loudon Street here in lovely Winchester, Virginia, where you can get all, and I do mean all, your video game needs and accessories, which goes from the Atari all the way up to current systems as well as getting everything you need for uh, whatever you need for video game-wise. This is a uh, this really cool place to go get the stuff at. And if you're looking for toys and collectibles, you can go right across the street to Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles, where you can get all kinds of G.I. Joe, Transformers, He-Man, WWE and AEW figures and accessories and Thundercats and Silverhawks and any other toys that you want to get. And collectible stuff that you want to get, go for it. Unfortunately, I got him and Snake Eyes off of uh, eBay with his comic two-pack set. And uh, got them off of eBay. But uh, that's my eBay shout-out. But if you're looking for uh, comic books like G.I. Joe or He-Man or anything superhero from Marvel, DC, and IDW, go check out Four Color Fantasies at 80 Weems Lane. Definitely check them out. It's a great place to get all your comic book needs. So definitely check them out. If you got a taste for Jamaican food, may I suggest going to Tribrigal Islands right there on Piccadilly Street across the street from the library. They got great Jamaican food. You can see Lloyd and his wonderful staff to get some great conversation. <coughs> <coughs> and listen to some Jamaican music in the background. Go for it. If you're looking for a bank, may I suggest going to... Uh, <coughs> Go to uh, Bank of Clark or United Bank. Both of them are great banks. I'm a member of both of them. Definitely go and check them out. So uh, while you're there, go and do that and take care of that. And uh, Cobra Island does support mental health awareness. So may I suggest going to Healing Grace Counseling Services on 133 West Biscowan Street, Suite Number 10, and see Robert C. Brown. If Rob doesn't have what you're looking for, May I suggest going to uh, Northwestern Community Services on Prosperity Drive. You know, you get all kinds of services you need from there. And if you're looking for a great place to go and get, uh, like, insurance for home insurance and car insurance or whatnot, or renter's insurance, go to State Farm. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Storm Shadow here. He doesn't have a fire car like the last night guys I did last week. But, you know, it's from the silent interlude, so you expect the fire guards to be silent. <laughs> but uh, he comes with a figure stand, upraised Cobra, Cobra logo on top, codenamed Storm Shadow on the front. And he comes with his bow, which they're all done in, like, the same purplish blue color Snake Eyes was in. But uh, he does have his, his uh, backpack with his arrows and... and uh, uh, sleeves for sleeves for his uh, two swords, which he has right here, a katana and another one. And he has his dagger that goes into his belt. And here's Storm Shadow. You know, his white gi with the red cover logo, blue is purple belt, some throwing stars in his belt. You know, very cool looking figure, but mostly in his all white gear. His classic, classic look. You know, and his articulation-wise, he does have head that goes 360. His arm can raise to here. Could go around, I'll do all 360. His, he's got an elbow bend right there at the elbow. His arm can swivel 360. His hand can swivel. And he's got the ab crunch feature. His legs can go to where he does a full split. Leg can lift up to here. 
and he's got the typical double knee bend band for the that comes with all of the uh, 25th anniversary figures. His ankle can pivot as well as swivel. No, the full 360. And uh, let's take a look at him all geared up. So here's Storm Shadow all geared up, ready to fight Snake Eyes in that signing interlude. This is a top tier figure in my opinion because it it's the traditional look of uh, Storm Shadow, or except for where his gear is supposed to be black. It's actually uh, purple is blue, you know. But it still works. It's still representing Storm Shadow. You could say that it's Storm Shadow. You can see that it's Storm Shadow, but. Uh, this is a great figure, great to add in your collection. I've got like a total of like two, three, four, five different Storm Shadow figures, as opposed to fifteen different Snake Eyes. But uh, it's still well and cool. In the comic book, his rival was Snake Eyes, but also in the Sunbow animated cartoon, his rival was Spirit, the Native American tracker. You know, so he had many rivals, many different battles, you know, and whatnot. But uh, Snake Eyes and Spirit Wars two equals, but uh, that's all really good. But this is a top tier figure. Um, definitely, literally, you must have to your collection. You know, and uh, this has been Cobra Island, and now you know, and knowing is had to battle. See you in the next one, and I hope two thousand twenty four is just as good to y'all as it is as two thousand two thousand twenty three. See you in the next one. Peace.